Mills, you look like you're enjoying your football at the moment. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's been a um, good start of the season so far. I've enjoyed sort of having that position now, being able to settle in it, play every game then, instead of sort of being moved about. But I've not I've enjoyed going centre mid at the end of the game sometimes, but like I say, it's just been playing every game in a position and so just progressed in it and enjoying it. It's almost full circle, isn't it? Start as a defender, move about a bit, play as a striker at one point, and now you're back where you, probably where you felt you should be. Yeah, it's been a bit mad. It's been a bit of a journey since I've been here. Obviously, I came as a centre half, and then through Beach, and now I went centre mid, then striker under Millen, and now thankfully now the gaffer's here, I'm back where I want to be in defence. I'm just enjoying it. Like I say, I, I, I didn't mind it in midfield now, but this is where I want to play. The goals came from that midfield position. That must have been enjoyable in a different way. So you've had a good time, haven't you, over the last few years? Yeah, that was quite an enjoyable month when I was getting them a few goals. But like I say, it's nice scoring, but sort of where I am now and defending and sort of attacking from the back, that's what I really enjoy. And the back three, the back five, that seems to suit you? Yeah, it really suits us. I don't mind the back four, but it's sort of that freedom as the left one on the side to be able to step in and sort of express myself a bit and... I like I say, I like to just start things from the back and obviously defend, but I like to attack as well. I mean, you've got the defenders like Hunt and, and Corey and Morgs even, and, and the others. Are you learning a lot from them? Yeah, loads. Like you say, Hunt is really experienced. He's a leader, same like Morgs and that. And it's just kind of nice to have that next to because they'll just win everything and head the ball and it lets me sort of run forward and they'll cover for us. That does runs forward. Is that something the manager talks about? Is that something he wants you to do? Yeah, it's something he's not going to take. We obviously are... I got put in midfield for that, but even putting us back in defence, he says just keep doing that, keep running because people don't want to track you back, and it's it's useful. And like I say, no one's going to track us back. It's a, it's another man forward, and then in the attack. He had a bit of a joke in one of the press conferences a couple of weeks ago where he said the defenders don't know what he's doing when he's going at them. He doesn't know what he's doing. I definitely don't know what he's doing. But there's a little bit more structure to it than that. Um, I, do. I sort of laugh at the lad. I say sometimes, like, if I don't know what I'm doing, then how does the opposition know what I'm doing? But I guess yeah, I sort of just get my head down and run. I think, like, as a defender myself, if someone's just running at you and keeps running, it's horrible. I think it's the worst thing. So that's what I like to do because I've got legs and I just think, just keep running. So many times this season, John, you've been the assist to the assist. It's it, it's a really key role that you play, breaking up the play as it comes your way. Yeah, it's about I want to add to my game, like I say, getting forward. I think I've gotten good positions, but now it's about picking that final pass and just being better with it because I think I could have quite a few assists, so I just need to sort of work on that part of my game. And if I can do that, then it should be good. I mean, you're a confident lad anyway, but it looks like it's going through the roof at the moment on a personal level. Yeah, really. So, I mean, that was good for us, I think, last week, that type of game. And like I say it just gives you confidence. I'm probably that type of player where if my confidence is high, you can sort of say, you know, I play better, so if he just continues. And that one in particular, you sort of make the tackle and stand up as if, right, oh, I'll just watch the game now, as if you're in the paddock. It's, it's the, that kind of thing the fans just see and, and love, I suppose. Yeah, so I just gambled on the tackle, and by the time I tripped myself, I was struggling to get up, so I just needed a bit of a breather. And I just like, watch Gibbo, watch Stretch, they, they finish it off. Everybody's talking about the mood in that dressing room. Is it as good as what it looks like it is? Yeah, it's really good. There's a right togetherness about everyone. You know, everyone's getting on with everyone, pushing each other and helping each other. I think that's what you need. I think whenever I see a couple of years ago in my top league, that was the sort of dressing room I had. And obviously the bottom of the league last year, that wasn't there. So to have it again is really good. And I think that that's what will help them push her on to the, sort of the next level this season. We saw it on Tuesday night when it doesn't go our way. There's a lot of, of grumpy heads in that dressing room. Yeah, it can be. I think it's a good thing because it just means we're not letting nothing slip, no standards. And like I say straight away, everyone's getting on each other's backs and and sorting it out. Massive game. When you the team that's at the top of the table, even this early in the season comes, it's good. But when you're up there with them, it adds a little bit more of an edge. Yeah, I think as soon as it beat, beat Doncaster, I've been looking forward to this game. I think this, these are the type of games you want. And like I say, they've had a really good start. So if we can put in that performance again and beat them, Obviously, get closer to them and just keep climbing that table. And the fans, both for you and for the team, they've been brilliant this season. Yeah, they've been really good. They've been back with loads. They turn up in the numbers, but home the winners, if they just keep doing that, it just pushes us on, especially so that last 10 minutes to keep going and look at a game like Doncaster, to get a late goal and sort of finish games off. Let's end with a wild prediction. Where are we going this season as a team? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say nothing. <laughs> Bite his bat in the arse, but. I'm confident to be fair, I'm feeling really good about it and hopefully I say playoffs and why not push a bit further. John, brilliant to talk to you, thank you.